This fight was matched at 185 pounds in the middleweight curve, middleweight division, and where we fought over three five-minute rounds. Introducing, firstly, fighting out of the red corner, representing España Imperial, Charles Andrade. His opponent fighting out to the blue corner. He is a UFC veteran and representing the Tsunami Gym. Luke, the big slow, Barnett! the first time back on UK soil for the big slow. The reigning Venator FC middleweight champion taking on a veteran of over 50 professional fights in Charles Andraj. I mean, what a crazy number that is. Hasn't had a massive amount of success. Only won five of his last 20. With a wealth of experience. Luke Barnett we know has said he's going back to the aggressive damaging Muay Thai style that's earned him so many fans on the UK scene in Andrage. Yeah well let's see let's see Bonnet use this range I mean look six foot six he's he's gonna outrange pretty much everybody he fights and you know over the years he's learnt to use that very well indeed Andrage looking for the reap good counter wrestling from Barnett though gets his hips out of the way nicely but good takedown from the Spaniard into half guard now Connects his hands together well. He's got good upper body control here. Bennett trying to create a frame and turn and bridge in to replace that guard. The, you know, the long legs and the range are fantastic until you have to use them to, to restore guard. It can be very tough. See if Andrade lets him stand back up. Got to be wary of those big up kicks though. Looking for a big punch there was Andrade. Bonnet stands back up well. Head control. Oh, pulls a guillotine and 
loses the position. Farner going to be wary of the up kicks. The, the thought of someone actually being physically able to up kick <laughs> Farner is, is laughable in itself. Yeah, it's but very tough. When you're leaning over like that, you've got to be wary. And Gerard tried to get, oh, and he's shooting from so far out. And with the knees of Luke Barnett, he's going to be very careful shooting for takedowns like that. We've seen Luke knock people out before, and there's a nice yeah. knee up the middle. You, you almost have to wonder if Andrade is, is just, you know, he's gone out of the gate too quick there. He saw his chance. He thought he had it. You know, he scrambled well for that first takedown, but he can't afford to be too lackadaisical here. I mean, you saw there's a perfect example. He put his head down and threw an, over, an overhand right, and it just hit Barnett in the chest. I mean, it's a, it's a real effort to focus on punching up towards a chin that's that much higher than you're used to hitting. Barnett had an extensive amateur career before turning pro, went undefeated in eight straight fights. Yeah, I mean, look, the only three fights... There's a big knee from the big slow. The only three fights that, that Barnett has lost are, are in the UFC to, to you know, to good top-level guys. And a couple of very contentious split decisions along with that nice leg kick from the big slow. I think he's just going to let him stand back up and keep chopping him down on the feet here. Oh, good takedown from Andrade, though. And Andrade really is the journeyman's journeyman. Oh, big kick yeah, from I mean, Andrade. I mean, look, Andrade has, has won 19 of his 28 wins by submission. He clearly wants this fight on the ground. The question is, can he put it there and keep it there? He's certainly game at the moment, but, you know, the deeper this goes, you've got to figure it's going to play into the hands of, of Von Aert. And that kick there was perhaps only legal. Oh, by jumping guard. Interesting. Potentially going to get himself slammed down here if Barnard can get some leverage. Yeah, if he frames on the face and drops his weight, that'll be interesting. Oh, in, in on the leg and just so loose. And Barnett again walking away, letting his man stand up. This is exactly where Luke Barnett wants this fight, Josh. Yeah, he's got to be feeling pretty confident about now. He's clearly got the more technical of the stand-up. I think if he just plays it calm, takes his time, Keeps doing what he's doing. Another big step in knee there from Luke Barnett. Let's see if Andrade can get a, his third takedown here. Body lock for him. Good short shots from Barnett in defense. Yeah, we, we talked about Andrade's recent record. He's won five and lost 15 of his last 20, but he's clearly capable of being in there and giving a good fight to a high level. European ranked mixed martial artist like Luke Barnett. This this isn't a guy who's going and dropping fights he shouldn't perhaps. It's, it's a skilled competitor. No, and, and, and he's certainly giving Luke Barnett a lot to think about in this fight, Josh. And Drod did a did a go oh, that huge Haragoshi off the, the defensive uh, overhook. That's a, a big move for people with the size of Luke Barnett. Luke's been hitting that for a long time. I was gonna say Andrade was doing a good job of, of closing the distance with his hips, but Top position for Barnett now, and it wouldn't surprise me if he sits back and, and just strikes from this position. He can stay very heavy here. Doesn't necessarily even need to look to pass with the range that he has. Well, look for him to palm up and push off and land those slicing elbows. Final 10 seconds of the round. Pins the arm down. Barnett looking to finish with a flurry here in the first round, Josh. Couple of big punches going in. And that's the end of the first frame. Oh, a round on the board for Luke Barnett, it has to be said. Yeah, quite probably. I've got to say, Andrade did some, did some really good work with earning those takedowns. He just wasn't able to put them to use. And you've got to say, he does look tired and he does look out of his depth somewhat in the stand-up. You know, he clearly he's fine when he closes the distance and when he gets that body lock going. Second round about to get underway here at Charters Hall. As we see Luke Barnett in the corner with the already hand wrapped and gloved up John Maguire, he'll be competing in the not too distant future. Lots more to come here at BC MMA 14. But we've still got two rounds of action if they need them to separate Charles Andrade and Luke Barnett. 
And you've got to think as this fight wears on, Josh, it's going to become more and more Barnett's. Looking very, very confident, very calm. Yeah, I think keep firing, that, heavy. keep firing that jab out, keep making it a one-two, throw the low kicks on the end. And Barnett's going to find a way through with his reach and you know, just a, the better technical ability. Big leg kick. None of the aggression from Andrade at the start of this second round. No, you can see he's dropping his head and his, that hand's coming low. And oh, you can Barnett see trying with a big head kick. You can see if he turns his head away like that, Barnett is going to clip him side on. And there it is. Oh. Beautiful takedown though from Andrade. Yeah, lovely takedown. Great technical stand-up by Barnett to get back to his feet, but it was a brilliant takedown from the Brazilian. Nice double jab from Barnett. Oh, he can't. He's going to turn away into that open shin. Oh, good takedown for him again, though. He's getting in on the hips. I mean, look, someone the size of Barnett, you haven't got to change level that much to get in under the strikes. But he can't allow this space to stand back up. Nice knee from Andraj there. He's going to get warned for... Oh, Barnett, perhaps with three points of contact when that knee landed. Oh, that's very close. I think he's just going to get a warning and told to... To be careful about it. And we can hear referee Rich Mitchell telling Andrade that he's going to give him, he oh. gave him the benefit of that the first time. He's taking a point this time. And that's absolutely the last thing that Charles Andrade needed to see. Already well on the back foot. It's going to have to be a finish for the Brazilian. And that piercing jab of Barnett finding a home on the chin of Andrade once again. I mean, look, Luke Barnett has, has never been stopped in a professional contest. So, you know, you've you got to say at this point, it's very unlikely Andrade is going to come back from this at all. And, you know, it's going to be a case of is Barnett going to get the stoppage or is he just going to keep picking him apart for, for the rest of the match? I think that's pretty much how we're going to see this one play out. Well, as the fight wears on and the takedowns get more desperate, there's the knee from Barnett. That's what Andrade has to be wary of, those sharp, powerful knees of the big slow. And Barnett steps back to let him up again. Charles Andrade looking a little bit world-weary here. Oh. He's never going to win a jabbing contest no way. with the big slow. <laughs> Barnett finding a home very nicely with that jab. And you see, even just a flinch, he's getting this horrible, large, exaggerated duck away motion from Andrade. And if he just follows that with a, a left hook or a left knee or anything up that open side. And Andrade being told to stand up by referee Rich Mitchell. He's got to engage here. Breathing very heavily now is the Brazilian. I'm surprised Barnett hasn't just, uh, you know, faked the jab and thrown something huge off that left leg. Oh, look out for a flying knee or a big uppercut. Hammer fist here from Barnett. Yeah, I mean, he's got to make Andrade pay here for this slow takedown. Andrade is not hustling at all, so Are Barnett you? can just sit here, pin and punch. Oh, Barnett. Again, having to defend the takedown. Yeah, and George trying to work his way to the back. Barnett right in his own corner. John McGuire, Jack Mason giving instruction to their man. And, uh, I mean, and George is so tired, he's trying to throw his own body weight and use it to just drag Barnett to the ground. And on that occasion, you know, it, <laughs> it really didn't go well for him. No, that's messy takedowns aren't going to work at this level and it's just put him in a terrible position where Luke Barnett can rain down punches and elbows yeah. nice short elbow there from the big slow and is Barnett going to let him up or no, I think he should no he's going to go in drops the hammer fist he's going to watch the leg lock though oh in on the straight ankle now if he can extend Barnett's doing a good job you see what he's doing he's separating the legs Really good work from Luke Barnett. To get this footlock, you really need to control the knee, the hip, and the ankle. 
just he's doing that there's there's options for him but being inverted now with Luke dropping his oh, weight down onto it that, of is, Luke Barnett. that is not a good position for Andrade he's still got a bite of it but he's got to really start turning his hips and he's got to start cranking on it and he's not letting go of that ankle the Brazilian jiu-jitsu expert oh Luke. he may have lost it now though Josh yeah I think so it was a good that effort a bad position We've seen Luke Barnett do some serious damage. Expect from elbows for the last 10 seconds here. Big elbows from the big slow. Barnett raining down. Big, big shots. This one could be over. That's time. Made it out of the round just about. And Charles Andraj looking a little world weary there. We were unsure if the fight had been stopped. Yeah, I mean, he's not, you know, he had a good bite of that footlock. There were a lot of options for him to pursue that, but Barnett did a good job of spinning around and sitting all his weight on his legs to stop him being extended and contorted. And you've got to say that Barnett should come out aggressively, get a stoppage early in this third round. Andras just looks dead on his stool. Totally weary from the repeated attempts to, to shoot and score those takedowns. And you have to think that Luke Barnett was maybe a second or two away. Oh, yeah. So close. I mean, you can see he switched straight away to the elbows. Huge concussive force coming down from those strikes. And Charles Andraj struggling to get off his stool there. Yeah, this is a tough guy, Josh. He's fought pretty much everywhere, every continent. He's not a, about to back out of a fight. But Andrade looking seriously oh. out of his step. And this one's, this one's over. Rich Mitchell calls a stop to the fight. It was the right hand that did the damage. Yeah, I think the referee was going to give him the benefit of the doubt, but it quickly became apparent that Charles Andrade was in no position to defend himself. No, I mean, you could see every time that Barnett even thought about throwing a punch... At, and Draj turned away, presented the side of his head, and Barnett found it right on the money. And Charles Andrade receiving medical attention here. I think perhaps more down to exhaustion than anything else. Quite possibly was a fresh, flush right hand, but a long time coming, it has to be said. But Luke Barnett returns triumphantly to BC MMA. Remains undefeated here in the UK. He's got a hell of a fight ahead of him later this year against Jason Mayhem Miller, of all people. And he'll be able to carry the momentum of his knockout victory against Charles Andrade here at BC MMA 14 into this contest. Ladies and gentlemen, after what I'm sure you will agree was an amazing contest, we have a winner via KO after 11 seconds of the third round. Luke, the big slow, Barnett.